I wanted to compare square roots to their radicands. So what I'm saying is this. If I have a and I have the square root of a, how can I tell what's the relationship between those, these two values? How do I figure out which is greater? So there are some conditions here, and we can say this. If a is greater than 1, then, then we know this. Then a is greater than the square root of itself, isn't it? That is to say, for example, 9 is greater than the square root of 9, isn't it? 9 is greater than 3, right? But what about this? What if a is equal to 1? Then 1, what's the relationship between 1 and the square root of 1? They're, e they're equal, aren't they? So we would get 1 is equal to the square root of 1. I'm just using 1. I'm not using 1 as a comparison. I'm using 1 because that's the value that we chose. So we would say that a is equal to the square root of a, isn't it? This is where I think it gets a little bit interesting. What if a is less than 1? Here's the problem with saying a is less than 1. We all agree that that does not necessarily make it a negative number, does it? So we want a is less than 1, but we want it to be greater than 0 because we don't want a negative number in there. Then what happens? Well, then... A is what to the square root of A? So let's try it. Let's say 1 half. Well, 1 half and the square root of 1 half. What's the square root of 1 half? The square root of 1 half is 1 quarter, isn't it? So 1 half compared to 1 quarter, A is greater than, isn't it? So I hope this video is really helpful. It really gives us something to think about. Um, and these kind of conclusions that we come to are really important for us to be able to come to. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, please call me. Uh, please call me. Yeah, call me. Uh, please make a comment. Let me know. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. And don't call me. It's crazy talk. Not that I don't like you.